Viewer discretion advised. The following content may contain material that is not suitable for some audiences. Paige, it's gonna be okay. Honey, I'm bit. I'll patch up her wound, but Scott, I can't save her. I know what it fucking means. Just do what you can. Is there anything I can do for you, Scott? You get my brother the hell out of this room. I don't want to see your face, Zack. Come on, Zack. Let's go. Fucking shit! Any last words, motherfucker? What? Are you mute or something? <gasps> you okay, David? I've been worse. We need to get in a truck and go. This place is done. That might be easier said than done, though. <laughs> Come on, drive! Before we all wind up dead. All right, everyone inside the truck. What about Jack? We have to find him. Noah, we can't risk it. We need to leave now. Noah, he's right. We're gonna die if we don't leave. Jack is gonna have to fend for himself. Get in the truck now, Noah. Not without Jack. Corporal, what are we waiting for? <sighs> everyone in the truck. Shit, Jack, I could have shot you. We gotta get out of here. Now. <laughs> Shit. Hey kid, come with me. Quick, before we get our heads blown off. Everyone's in the truck. Have you seen Brian? No, but Noah hasn't come back yet. He's my responsibility. He's a capable kid. We can't stay. Too many of us have died already. Come on. Uh, please, don't kill me. I don't want to die. What are all you looking at? Grab what you can and load it up. Boss, we found something that might pique your interest. Awesome. Lead the way, Tommy. Holy smokes, isn't she a beauty? We also found this guy locked up. Should we kill him? <laughs> I'm Devin Morrow. I'm the president of this club. We lost a few guys during this raid. I take it these guys weren't too fond of you. I mean, why else would you be locked up? Anyways, on to business. Will you or will you not be joining the Fallen Angels on their next adventure? You drive a hard bargain. I'm in. How are you feeling, honey? Could be worse. This isn't your fault, Scott. Everyone dies at some point. I can't lose you, Paige. You're the one thing that's kept me going. I need you by my side. I want to spend whatever time I have left not worrying. Just be with me right now in the moment. I can't believe that. How'd we not figure this out sooner? Those brothers shouldn't have kept it a secret from everybody. Paige's death is on Scott's hands. Maybe if we knew that we all turned if the head was intact, someone would have taken care of it before Colin could turn. God, these guys have no idea what they're doing. Vince, go easy on them. Look. Scott's gonna need someone to be there for him when his wife passes. I'll do what I can. Maybe then we can all be trusted here. See what you can do for him too. Why me? I'm sorry, brother. You're sorry? I, I didn't mean for that to happen. It was a mistake. Your mistake cost my wife her life. I can't change that now. But I'll do everything I can to make it up to you. Just give me a... Zach. Leave him alone. You've done enough today. Here comes the good brother to the rescue. Kane, Jeff, please escort my brother off the premises. I want him gone by sundown. 
Exile, huh? It'd be like old times. Just Niall and Scott, the two good brothers. Shut the fuck up, Zack. You heard Scott. Pack your bags. Call it quits. You fucked up enough. We gave you a chance and it only hurt Scott in the end. I gotta talk to you both. What is it, Kevin? Is it about what you did to Brad? No, it's about Colin and how he turned. Scott told us that Colin wasn't bit. I guess whenever someone dies, if their brain is left intact, then they come back. We all turn when we die. So we're just carriers. We're all infected. Why did Scott keep this from us? He wanted to give everyone hope. So you're checking out. My brothers don't want me here anymore. It was nice knowing you. I know you killed Cole. He didn't just get attacked by the biters. You left him to die, huh? You weren't there. I already told you what happened. Look, Zack, don't lie to me. I know it was you. You got him killed, and now you got Paige killed too. Maybe your brother's right. Maybe you don't belong here. Or maybe they're wrong. What are you going on about? This place won't last with Scott running things. I think I can make it safer for everyone. Maybe you could help me with that. You know how things work in this world. You and I both are willing to make the tough decisions. Sometimes you gotta leave someone behind. Yeah, I'd love to help your mutiny, but I'm leaving. I should have never come here. People like us are better off alone. At the end of the day, we only hurt the people we care about most. Maybe you should get out while you still can, Vince. We'll stay in this area for the night. Those guys are following us, Hank. We need to keep moving. No, trust me, kid. We need a rest. Look, I don't trust you. I remember what you did to that family. I'm only staying with you out of necessity. You don't have to like me, all right? But right now, it's you and me. So listen to me, and I promise to keep us alive. Tell my brothers that I'm sorry. I will, Zach. Goodbye. <sighs> I see a squirrel up ahead. We're gonna need to kill about 10 more at this rate to feed everyone. Hey, do you guys remember when we put that dead squirrel in Luke Evans' locker? That kid pissed himself when he saw it. <laughs> yeah, we did it because he hogtied Kevin in the locker room that one time. Remember that, Kev? And unfortunately, yes. Was that a gunshot? <laughs> do you think he has friends? Possible. I say we head back before. Turn around slowly and don't get any ideas. I don't want to shoot, but I will if you get trigger happy. Hey, we're just passing through. Same. Now drop the gun. I would do the same asshole. Right now. <laughs>